Hello and welcome back to iFramer. Uh, these are some of our final updates for October 2018. So first I'm going to take you to the reports, to our new Kanban board, which is a project management board. So when you first go into the Kanban board, the first thing you'll notice is that any jobs uh, that you raise for an order invoice that are not completed will be in this list here. So this comes in automatically and then you can create your own list. I'm going to just get rid of this one first, we'll archive that. So in this first new list I'm going to make this one and I'm going to call it matting. I'm going to create another list, frames. I'm just creating a number of lists here. I'm also going to create one for myself. So in here, these are obviously for jobs, matting, frames, assembly, and I can then grab any of these jobs and drag it into where it's up to. So it's, it's a visual display for job tasks. Okay, so any of these jobs can be put into any of these lists. You can also add a new card. I'll just put rush job. So in this new card, I can then click on that. I can add a further description mats for gallery. Okay, we'll save that one. Okay, so you can see there's notes attached to that. Um, for Mark, it may be to uh, for maintenance. And again, I can go in here and we'll make this um, the Midasaur. Stop blades. And we'll make it give it a date the first of the okay so, so you can see how the Kanban works um, and again you can create any of these lists um, whether it be for your staff for customers uh, you can move the, any outstanding jobs that are not com completed into any other list and create new cards for any list okay so that's our new Kanban board um, if you have any suggestions um, please feel free to forward them on Okay, let's have a look at one other one we've done at the moment. Under my settings, we also added a new alert setting. So in this alert setting, if you go, you'll see there's one here called quote, quote alert. And what you can now get is a, a quote list emailed to you, whether it be weekly, monthly, or fortnightly. So therefore you can help to follow up on the quotes that came in that period and turn those quotes into actual sales. Um, and if, you're, if you can't turn them into actual sales, you can find out the reason why you weren't successful in the quote. And you can use this information for either your pricing or maybe staff training um, for a number of things. But quotes are just as important as uh, confirmed orders as it helps you to set your pricing. Okay, uh, we've also under our staff, we've updated the permissions. Uh, let's go into this one. So with the permissions, we've now um, done them by each uh, tab. So you can see there's the, dash, the dashboard, the customers tab, the sales tab, and then all the different things that you can um, allocate for your staff to do. So you give them permissions based on what they'd like to do. Okay, so that's an update on that one. Um, on the sales page, we also added a search by tag. So now you can put a tag in there and search the customers who have that tag on them. Okay, so they're the main um, features we've done at this stage. We've got a few more about to be released, uh, but we'll update you on those. The trade portal is also now uh, ready to go and we'll be doing a, a new series of videos on that to introduce that one as well. All right, thank you, hope to see you soon.